Hi, my name is Jeff Jones. I'm with Clayton County Water Authority. I'm the leak detection repair foreman. We have a population of 270,000 people, 1,446 miles of distribution lines. Our biggest challenges are in the county is we're basically the smallest county in the metro Atlanta area with the densest population. You know, all the water mains are in the uh, street, so we're constantly dealing with the traffic. I have a two-man crew that's actually the full-time leak detection crew, and also have a repair crew. Recently, we found a, uh, a, a large leak in the city of Jonesboro, right in front of the First Baptist Church in Jonesboro. We had uh, water escaping it was actually getting in the uh, sewer main, causing the sewer main to have high flow. So what we did, we, we actually found an inch and a half service line leaking. We found it using the DigiCore correlator. What you do is you put like the address where this unit is okay. here, address here, and this is a map of our water distribution system. Okay. You put your two sensors on here, the distance, the distance you wheeled off right there, the type of material as far as the pipe is, like okay. if it's ductile iron or cast iron or PVC or whatever. Okay. The dimensions, like it's a six inch yeah. diameter or whatever. Come over here and start recording it. And cool. So it marks off the distance exactly, yeah. so you know exactly where it is. And you go out there from that red unit, just wheel off the, you know, the amount of distance it's telling you from the red one and go ahead and sink a bucket. This is uh, just your analysis and this is your noise tracker and they're both real high. Because, I mean, you heard it yeah, yourself heard it. how loud it is. it sounds like is. gas. Is that really what they sound like? That's exactly what a water leak sounds like. That's interesting. Because cool. it's under pressure, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right now, we're in the process of installing a Smith layer repair clamp so we can get it clamped off. We'll come back in the next week and replace this galvanized service line with a copper service line. Once we dug down on it and got it repaired, we actually had the wastewater crew come back in and seal the sewer line. And we also, on this leak, had to use the, the fire hydrants because we couldn't cut the service off because it went to the daycare of the church. So we kept the line in, in service at all times, just using the hydrants to help lower the pressure so we could fix it live.